Hello everybody, Rick Henderson here, editor of Foods That Lower Blood Pressure, also loweredbloodpressurefoods.com. Uh, today I'm excited to bring with you a couple things that we're going to do. Um, when you have high blood pressure, you always have to watch your sodium intake. So today we're doing bacon. What? Bacon, bacon, bacon. Everybody loves bacon. We're all trying to sneak it. We're all trying to fake it. We're eating bacon. We go out, we put bacon on our burgers, we put it in our salads. We all like bacon. It's huge. The problem is it's also huge in sodium. So today we're going to show I'm going to show you three ways to make bacon. We're going to do a non-vegan bacon. We're going to use rice wrappers, okay, to make bacon. This is really cool. We're also going to do some cashews. And you know, if you're a nutrarian diet or something like that. You know, these got to be raw when you get them, okay? We're also going to do the traditional bacon that you meat lovers crave. And I know you crave it, a BLT, your burger, everything. So I went to the Asian store because that's where I get it. And I got some nice, thick pork belly. It's already cut. All I got to do is season it and bake it. So that's what we're going to show you today. I was telling my friend Bobby a couple days ago that I was going to make bacon, which is really like an arts and crafts show because we're going to paint a lot of food with a tasty marinade that's low in sodium for all our bacon needs. So obviously I'm going to use my Pyrex cup, got my whisk, okay? Now I'm just using maple syrup, yeah, I'm a good old Canadian boy, so maple syrup's really, really, really important, but you could use brown sugar, you could use really, really nice maple syrup, but if you're on a budget, just use whatever you put on your pancakes. So we're going to use two tablespoons of this maple syrup, give or take, you know, this isn't a science, so it's okay if you're, if you like it a little bit sweeter, put a little bit more in, that's okay, okay, then we're going to follow up with some liquid smoke, about half a tablespoon. If you like it a little bit smokier, you know what to do. Add a little bit more. I always add a little bit more because flavor, 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 flavor. Okay, we got those in there. This is garlic. We have some paprika smoked. And we also have some, I'm using a New Mexico chili. Some people use cayenne, cayenne. Some people use black pepper, white pepper, whatever you prefer. And those are all about half a tablespoon each. I'll have the, the recipe up, so don't worry. And we just give this a nice stir. And this is gonna turn into a thick kind of paste that's gonna stick to everything we put it on. So let's get started with our rice paper wrappers. And in this case, this is a spring roll. The reason why I use spring roll, it's very important because a lot of the rice pack paper wrappers that you will see will have anywhere from 110 to 700 milligrams of sodium. But the spring roll, sorry, the spring roll wrapper has, these are five, okay? So five's not bad. So what we want to do, handle them very gently, is we want to paint them. Remember I was talking about arts and crafts? So we want to paint our spring roll. We're going to moisten it, paint it, be very careful, see it starts to get a little sticky. Okay, we're going to put those together. Okay, look at that, it just, it just sticks like glue. So I'm going to do all these, and then we're going to finish painting them. Alright, so let's get started. What we have here is a couple of cups of cashews. Get the raw kind, especially if you're nutrient diet, like I said earlier, they're full of nutrients, full of vitamins, all good for the, the ticker. So we're just gonna pour those in. Also, you saw the sauce is nice and thick, okay? So we're just gonna pour most of that sauce in there. It's fighting me, it's so thick, but we want a good coating. Mmm. If you can smell that, it smells just like bacon. And then we just gotta toss these. So we wanna get all the cashews nicely coated. And as you see on my pan here, I put in nonstick, you know, parchment paper. That is so important because if you're like me, I have to clean up before my wife gets home and I wanna make it easy and quick. I don't wanna leave a disaster for her. So 
As you can see, they're all nicely coated. We'll just put them in the, on the tray. Yes, we're going to spread them out. This is now ready to go in the oven. I have it preset for 200. We're going to watch the Diamondbacks play tonight and we're going to have some bacon flavored cashews. Don't worry, we'll get to the, to the other bacon right after this. All right, so for convenience of time, what I've done is I've already done a tray. As you can see, it's on parchment paper, so I contain the mess that I have to clean up later. These ones are almost done, so it's really simple. You're just going to take your, your sauce, your marinade, paint it. Yep, just like arts and crafts. Now, I've already done these ones, but then once you're done with one side, nobody wants one-sided flavored bacon. So we have to turn them over. This is what they look like when I get them from the store. And the reason you want pork belly is because with pork belly, there's no seasoning added to it. There's no brining added to it. There's no salt. There's no preservative. It's just a raw piece of pork that looks exactly like bacon. Because guess what? This is where the bacon comes from. Okay? So you just flip them all over and begin your painting process again. I think I have just enough marinade. You know, I just make them in small batches and I make them right before I use them. There's no need to do anything complex as you saw earlier. It's, it's not a complex type of thing. It's just some maple syrup or brown sugar or white sugar. I haven't done it with a, with a salt or a sugar substitute such as stevia, but you know, I, I am thinking because I live in the desert that one day I may actually do this with like guava, which might give a really cool flavor, make a Southwest flavored bacon. You know, because we always, we're all used to the regular stuff. This one I'm just showing you because this is the one I use the most and my family will actually eat it. So all that's left now is for this to go into the oven. The oven's at 200. It's going to bake for about an hour. All we're doing is slightly cooking this. All right, so now we're just going to do the rice paper. We got our marinade. Just gonna give it a paint. Flip it over onto the parchment paper. Do the other side. And we're just going to repeat, right? So remember I, I did paint these and they curled all up because it is, it is very thin and it will be crunchy. Some people, what they do is they'll double layer them for example, this one has two layers in it. Make it, for those who like their bacon a little bit thicker, this will work just fine. Just give it a paint. Now when you cook these, you can see how thin it is. They will cook very, very fast. Just bake them in the oven. <clears throat> what I like to use these for is I can put them in salads, you know, because they'll crumple up real nice into little bacon bits. I mean, you could do that with regular bacon, but or you can do it with cashews, which I am going to do for my work lunch tomorrow. <clears throat> Don't worry, I'll send you a picture of it. I'll bake these when I have trays ready because my other stuff's still going. And that's simply how we do our rice paper bacon. Thank you for watching. I enjoy making these videos so I can show you how to start eating with low sodium recipes. But you know what? I also enjoy the money I make from these videos. Thanks.